Hello everyone, this is Nullfish, co-founder of 3D Dice, a digital dice rolling platform that allows you and your group to roll 3D dice live together, no sign up required. In this video, I want to show just how easy it is to use 3D Dice. We'll take a look at some of the rolling interface, learn how to invite friends, and take a look at some of the many amazing features that you can utilize for your tabletop role-playing games. Without further delay, let's get started. To begin, click on the big Roll Dice button. This will create a private room for you. If this is your first time using 3D Dice, you'll be prompted with a instructions on how to use some of the interface features. Go ahead and close that without reading, because that's for nerds, and let's take a look around this room. At the bottom, you'll have your dice piles and your roll buttons. By default, you only have one die in each pile, but we'll learn how to customize that in just a minute. Up top, we have features such as your connected users. We have invite players. We have pickup dice, which picks up any dice you have rolled on the, uh, the board. Clear chat. Clear the local board, which if your players refuse to pick up their dice, you could clear them for them. Uh, show that useful help menu again, and some other settings. We could change the room name easily by clicking on the name and typing. To save, just click anywhere off of it. Any connected players will see these changes instantly. Additionally, by clicking on my player, I could change my display name and color, which will also be reflected to any players connected. So let's go ahead and change that. And maybe let's call it Awesome Game Master. Cool. Let's focus on the core of 3D Dice, rolling dice. To roll, simply click on a die at the bottom, then click Roll Die. To roll multiple dice, click on all the dice you want to roll at once. So let's do maybe a d20 and 2d4. And I'm going to click on the d4 multiple times to add it to my roll. And then we'll click roll die again, and we'll see all die have rolled together. Pretty easy. By default, your dice will clear after a few seconds, but if you want to clear them faster, you could click up the pick up dice button, which will go ahead and pick up your dice. Let's customize our dice piles a little bit. To do so, click the Organize My Dice button at the bottom. Here you'll see all the different dice themes you own, and you'll also see your dice piles that have open slots to drag additional themes into. Let's do that. Browse the themes that you'd like to add, and add them to your dice piles using drag and drop. So maybe I want this emoji die here. Let's take our pride die, we can add a couple d6s to that. And there is no limitation to how you customize your die piles. If you have a player that has an attack roll and a damage roll, you can feel free to group those together. If you're a GM, customize your dice piles per NPC. There is no limitation to how creative you get. Once again, click the Organize My Dice button again to go back to the main room interface. If you have multiple die in a pile, you will notice a little plus sign when you hover over your dice pile. Clicking this will add all dice in your pile to roll at once. Now that we've learned how to roll die, let's invite our first player. Click the Invite Player button at the top to open the share window. To have a player join, simply share the link in this window. You could click to copy it instantly. Or have your player scan the QR code presented. I'm actually going to go ahead and scan this QR code with my phone to join right now. Scan the QR code. Open in my browser. And loading. Presto. You'll see we have another player here, player one. Now my player also has some of the same features that this GM has. I could change my name, I could change my color. I can't change the room name because obviously I'm a player, but what I can do is I can roll right from my interface on the phone, and you'll see it comes up from the top on my screen here. The more players you have connected will roll from different sides of the screens. As you can see, inviting a player only took a couple seconds. And now that my player has joined, we can see that uh, the dice that I roll from my phone are shown here on my GM interface. I can also roll hidden die, and I'm going to go ahead and do that again from my player side, just so we can see what it looks like from a, a, a connected player side. You can see all the faces of these die are hidden. I can't see what it landed on, and I can't even see the result of the value. But if I were to reveal the die here on my phone, you'll see that they fade in and the value is revealed. To see what that looks like here from a uh, my side of things, we could go ahead and do a hidden roll. 
And just like the player that rolled a hidden, I can't see the die faces and I can't see the result. However, I can peek into it if I wanted to. And I could go ahead and click unhide and that will unhide it for all my connected players. Pretty easy. As you can see so far, it's very easy to roll dice with your party. Finally, let's take a quick peek through the settings menu to see what we could do. We could hide our chat. We could upload a background, so a PNG, a JPEG, a WebP, any type of image file will work. We could open streaming mode. Streaming mode will plan to have a tutorial video in the near future. You could get help by opening up the documentation site. You could send us feedback. And you have a couple options for the room. So picking up die, it happens manually right now, um, and they will auto clear after 10 seconds. However, we could also uh, pick these up before we roll our next roll. So if I were to roll 2d20, and then I were to roll a d12, you'll see my die get picked up instantly before I roll. So that could be changed here. We could change the auto clear to never, which will never auto clear. You'll be responsible for picking them up either before in each roll or manually, or you could customize five, 10, 15 seconds. And finally, in the chat, you saw the breakdown. We could show the chat again. And this is the breakdown here where we have these die equals 17, this one equals three. We could choose to show that by default, open or on click, which I have been doing. Finally, that about wraps up this tutorial on basic features of 3D dice. I really hope you found this walkthrough useful. We're always open to feedback, so if you want to get in touch with us, the best way to do so is join our Discord. You can do that right from the settings menu here. We also have a number of other social sites that you can follow us on. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment below to let us know what other videos you would like to see. Until next time, happy rolling!